trading photos. Stay tuned, trading photos. She drive me crazy on and on. Cause she's having my baby on and on. Boom, boom, yay, Mr. Easy. All right, hello everyone. My name is Bianca Brooks and you are now watching Trading Photos. Today I have a very special guest. We have Mr. Easy on the show and we have V. Welcome to the show. Yes, how you doing? What's up? Wonderful, wonderful. Good tell to us, see you again. It's good to see you too. <laughs> uh, tell us what your title is, V. My title is a public relations services management. So I do a lot of different services for artists, brands, and also provide event promotions. And I'm Mr. Easy. Um, I guess I sing, you know, um, I travel the world and entertain people. Like, you know, I mean, I, lo I love the Caribbean, an island like Grenada, um, Antigua, Barbados, you know, like other places like Switzerland, Germany, yeah. Italy, places like, you know, the, the continent of Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe. So big up all these people that has welcomed me in their homes. Happy to be here. And we are happy to have you. Yes, this. trade in photos, big up for cell phone. Oh, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mr. Easy, tell us about yourself. Where are you from? Well, I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. I uh, sp spent some of my time in Trelawney with my grandparents. Then I migrated to the US, lived in Brooklyn for years with my mom. And it's um, been a wild, good experience. You know, I used to perform at the Apollo Theater. That's where I got my confidence. I won the Apollo. I won Showtime at the Apollo. I was once signed to Quincy Jones' label, Warner Brothers. You know, I love music. Music is the, my heartbeat. You know, it's, it's something that I'm passionate about. I mean, I've always known that this is what I love to do. So I've always given it 100 and more percent. You know, and I've always tell kids out there, you know, it's finding nuts from Hurley. And, um, Give it everything that you have, and you'll definitely make it. Because it takes a little while to get to a certain level. Certain things takes a little longer, so you try to find your snatch from early. That way you have enough time to meet people, to to get yourself, to get, develop a talent the right way. So, you know. That's nice. So at what age did you know that mm -hmm. for sure I want to get into music? Well, I've always loved it from the age of 12, really. I started, you know, like, like in a fun way with my cousins we started out as a group but then um I used to listen to Danny Hathaway I used to listen to Dennis Brown and um I've always said this is what I want to be I heard Dennis Brown vocals and I was like I, I'd like to be like a Dennis Brown so I just started listening to great singers and just mimic these singers and uh, develop my own sound so I used to try to sound like other people like every art every artist that that's that's aspiring to be in music try to sound like someone else and then you find your way so i've been doing it for from a long time for a young age you know well, that's nice and you were at the apollo that must have been quite an experience yeah scary but you know an experience because you know you don't want to be sent home by the sandman because you don't you, you know <laughs> you, you don't want to go back to your neighborhood after that you know but um lucky enough i was talented enough and that's what because you know people always say you sound good you can sing but you just not, you know, you don't have someone is just telling you that to make you feel comfortable. But then when you, my mother always said you can sing. But then when you, you know, achieve the Apollo Theater, you realize that, you know, you got the past, you know. You start, people like the OJs come up to you, Patti LaBelle come up to you and tell you, you there's a place in the world for you. You don't need to say, you don't need to hear much more than that, really. You know? That is amazing. Yeah, wow. definitely. And, you know, are there any legends that you would like to collaborate with? There was one legend I collaborate with first, and um, and that's when I realized that I think I'm good enough. I remember when Big Daddy Kane was like the Jay Z at the time. He came up to me and you know he gave me an opportunity, and I he, put, he recorded me on his album. I did a song with him on his album, and from there I said, you know, <clears throat> for me to get the opportunity to do something with Big Daddy Kane, that that must my talent is good. But there's a lot of people. Even um, I have an artist now that I've done a record with. Her name is Vasasha. We have a single that just came out today. It's called Suffering, a beautiful record. And we'll be doing a video soon. You know, just as, we, as I said, the song just came out today. Yeah, so um, I like new talents. You know, Joe Joe, you know, a friend of mine that's here as well. 
But I like new talent, you know. I was because new talents always have something new, something refreshing. Yeah, like Kaya Baby. Like Kaya, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kaya Baby was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I have a song with me, Kaya Baby. That's Kaya's talented. Kaya's one of those artists that you hear now, but she sounds. She has a whole soul. She's young, but at the same time, her style, her skills is really up to up up to the par. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And tell us about your new <clears> album. <throat> Um, well, you know, I'm actually still working on it, but as I say, I'm suffering with the singles. I'm back and forth from Jamaica, working out of Jamaica, doing a lot of work, and I'm doing a lot more live music. I'm going back to doing like, like, like even the, the single now is a live, live, everything is live. Because live music connect with the, with, the, with the soul and the spirit more, you know, beautifully, because it's part of who you are. Um, but so far, everything sounds good. Sounds coming on good, ex exactly how I've always wanted. Because I'm taking my time. It's been a while to take my time and do it. So the, the you know, just pick what you want. Pick the songs properly. That way, you won't regret when you go out. You say, "Damn, I wish I had done it this way." You know, just take your time and do it. So, so far it's coming out very well. Yeah, it's very exciting. I love to hear people are filming music videos. So I'm definitely gonna look out for that. Yeah, man, definitely. Definitely. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. So tell us more, you know, uh, yeah. currently with the state of music right now, like since you are a veteran musician, how do you feel about it? Well, music has always changed with time. And where it is now is where it is for the time. Um, that don't mean that uh, there's a lot of things I see that can be changed as well as how at one time your talent had to be good. You know, but, um, you know, you go on these distribution sites, there's so much disposable music, you know, because, it, you know, it's, it's too accessible in a way, you know, not fighting anybody, but when something is too accessible, you know, it's like music was more, you know, as a rarity where you have to be talented to be in this circle, you know, and that's why now you'll see a lot of people here that's not real, they come to hit and, and, and gone, hit and gone. Artists usually get even 10 years out of music. Now artists just get one song and just disappear. You know, so it's in a state where, um, and then a lot of artists now, you can't even explain to them nothing they don't want to hear because once you get a record, they're like, I'm the man, I'm the this, you know? And then when the thing slows down and reality sets in, they realize, I, you know, I didn't learn enough. I needed to do more. I, you know, develop myself. You know, so these producers are like next, next, next. It's always next. So you want to develop your skill where you're here for, for forever. I've been here forever. Mm -hmm. I've been making music for a long time. I've been touring the world. I've been all over the world. You know, so I know what requires, what other markets like, and um, what you're hearing now. Sometimes people hear music here. And they feel like it's, it's, it's hitting all around the world, but it's not. It's not, you know, so when you travel now, you get to meet people and see what people really like in music. And you can't really make music say, I'm just making the music because I want to I wanna, I wanna hit New York. You know, you could make a record and it never plays here, but it plays in South Africa. So you just got to do good music, you know. So that's what I'm about, good music. But the state of music right now is definitely, and it shows in the um, results that you're seeing that it's not, it's not doing as well as it, like how it used to do in the 90s and early 2000s, you know, yeah. You know, you brought up a very important point, uh, artist development. I've heard that that actually yeah. no longer no more. exists. Yes, when you got signed to a label, they'll always develop your talent first, get you prepared. You know, I, I'm, when I got signed to Warner Bros., I remember Tevin Campbell was there, and it took him a while before they even put him out. Not even, even Baby Sham. There's an artist by the name of Baby Sham. A lot of people know Baby Sham. I remember when Baby Sham had like three, four records, and he couldn't tour because the producer, the management, Dave Kelly, said, listen, we want you to learn how to perform. We want you to learn how to do interviews. We want you to learn how to interact with your fans before you go out there and do your thing. So when you go out there, you can give it everything that you have and people, you know, your presentation got to be on that level. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, I think that's good that you have the expertise that you have in the business mm -hmm. so that you can pass on some of your knowledge to the younger generation, definitely, you know, help definitely, to definitely. cultivate that talent from them. Yeah, once they want to hear, I'm, I'm willing to, 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 to give you the knowledge. And um, I've always tell new talents that not because I've made mistakes and because I've been through um, a lot of different uh, jump different obstacles, you know, that don't mean you have to go through that. If, it, if I can make it easier for you, I will. All right, and I think it's wonderful that, you know, you're doing that so that they can learn from you. Yes. And do you have any other endeavors that you're pursuing? Um, really, I love kids. So uh, my endeavor is just to um, help, help kids. I try to help as much kids as I can as far as... Um, I do stuff for school in my in my community in Jamaica. So every year we keep something that we give back to the kids. You know, so now we have like a um, donation that we have gone, that go on to, to the kids in Trelawney in, in Jamaica, where I'm from. So my endeavor is just, I wish I could adapt a lot of kids, just to help kids. You know, that's my thing is just, it's all about human beings to me. It's helping kids. All right, Mr. Easy, I think that it is so amazing what you're doing for the children in the community and going back to Jamaica, I think that is so wonderful. And you're inspiring a lot of children too, you know, you're giving them something to look up to. Definitely, because um, I have kids of my own, so you know, I know, you know, oh, nice. how important it is to be in kids' lives. Nice, how many kids do you have? Three, Nice. Okay. you know, so definitely. It's all about the kids, all about the next generation. Yes. Let's make it easier for them. Yes, with Mr. Easy. Mr. Easy keeping it breezy. Hey, <laughs> that's a vibe. So, Mr. Easy, tell mm -hmm. us what you think about Afrobeats. Well, Afrobeats, I love Afrobeats because Afrobeats to me and um, to me Afrobeats and reggae, it's to me it's the same music, and every you know I mean all music to me definitely came from the motherland. So, and I'm happy to see that. It's been so many years Afrobeats been around, but now it's really mainstream. So now a lot of artists now out of Africa is, are getting the breaks that, that they deserve. And for, the, for the, 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 um, the legends who started it, you know, I mean, weren't here, who's ever, rest in peace, because you, you know, there's always a beginning. What you're seeing now, there was someone who started it. There was a particular artist that started Afrobeat. He was one of the main persons that he wasn't on the international, um, platformers yet but I, I gotta say big up to fella Pute he's the one that started the whole Afrobeat genre even to say he's not he started it but he's one that we know about first so he paved the way for the new artists like Burner Boy and the Kids. so give it up for these people who have actually you know went through the struggle you know and on. so um I'm happy for Afrobeats you know it's at the right place deservingly Nice, nice. And tell us about some of the Caribbean islands that you've been to. Um, I've been to a lot of Caribbean islands. I've been to Barbados. I've been to Trinidad. I've been to Antigua, Anguilla. I've been to Bermuda, uh, Grenada. Um, there's so much islands. I've been to so much islands in the Caribbean, man. And the whole Caribbean is, we are all one. It's, it's, it's beautiful in the Caribbean. Very beautiful. Anytime I have, I'm going to Belize next week. Big up the whole Belize crew. I'm coming. Belize is going to be nice. I've been this. I think this is my seventh time going to Belize. You know.